Where are we today, Kat? Rose Garden. <laughs> Rose Garden, she? She's been taking her English classes. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, guys. Today we're actually at Washington Park here in Portland and uh, got lucky. We got, we got parking right pretty quick, but it's crazy. It's crazy busy. Anyway, uh, we're gonna, we just paid like $2 for one hour. I'm gonna go and stretch our legs. The sun's still out here. And uh, let's go and check out the roses. You do souvenir shop at the end. That's that's typically the tradition. You go around, you go around, and look at stuff, and then you fall in love with everything, and then you want to buy roses at the end. <laughs> Darcy Bustle, a ballet dancer, named, named a rose after her. Well, just did that house coincidence and happens to be her name. What's the name of these white ones? See, the ones over here that are getting sunshine are still blooming. Royal Rosarian. What? Oh, yeah, this is beautiful. I remember when I did this, um, I did your tour, right, of your herb gardens. I don't remember fl uh, f roses being there. Were they there? Uh, when you enter into garden, uh -huh. and then the light. Oh, where, by the, oh, where the offices were? Yes. Oh, they call Gulab Mon. Gulab Mon. And what's that mean? Just roses? Yeah, name of, of rose. Oh, the different but, type of rose. But uh, is they have... It's good for make tea and then good for her. Oh, you can make tea from it? For her. Ah. So those of you that don't know, before I met my wife, she used to work at a big, beautiful herbal gardens uh, in Thailand, actually. And uh, she's got... Kate, haven't you got a degree in... She's got a degree in herbal medicine, right? Yeah. And she knows about all the flowers and all the herbs and medicine already. But um, actually, I'll leave a, a link at the end of this video because I did actually do a tour of her gardens when I was actually, we were dating. We weren't married at that point. But, uh, and that's when we ended up getting married out there too. So, um, but yes, so, Kit. <laughs> Which colour do you like? Uh, Which one do you like? Which colour? I don't know. Traditionally, Rose? roses are red, right? Yeah. But I like the yellow ones over here. Yellow? Yeah. I think in Thailand, yellow colour for someone is got uh, his IV. What? <laughs> if you have HIV, you have yellow rose. Yeah. What do you mean? Over here. I had to sit down for this. So you had to Google search this, right? Because yeah. I think we're a little bit wrong here. But what Kate was saying is, is like when she was in the Ukraine, you you had like a, you had to get all your blood work done right for visa, yes. and then that man brought you a yellow flower right yes. from in in the hospital. No, in in office, but oh, in the office. Yeah, okay. but I'm I'm waiting for paper. Oh, I wait, you're waiting for the results, yeah. right? And so, yeah. but you just assumed that there was something wrong because yeah, e um, in Eastern Europe, apparently, what Kate's saying is that um, when someone's sick. 
they bring you yellow roses is to yeah, signify it's, it's a sign or meaning that you care that person and like a for friend for for friendship or something like that okay yeah. yeah so so in england though usually we used to just bring a bunch of grapes if somebody was sick in the hospital not well and flowers i guess but mostly like a bunch of grapes or fruit and um maybe a bottle of lucasade in the old days but yeah all right so it it's not just hiv then all right all right let's carry on but mm -hmm. like a, like are you really virgin or something yeah it's well mean. yeah i mean it's like mean, yeah. white roses for virginity well yeah. virgin Virgin's you're pure right but yeah. red rose is romantic yes but and i guess rose, if you get if you do get hiv and then you get a yellow rose it's not probably romantic then <laughs> the romance is probably all gone by then i would think <laughs> All right, let's, that's enough about that. Let's keep walking. I mean, how to use it? You don't know how? I don't know. All right. Okay, I'm not telling you. You have to. This is like a puzzle for you. Yeah. Right, go on in. And then? You have to drink water. Yeah. Yeah, how do you get the water out? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not telling you. <laughs> Come on, figure. Like this? Yeah, go on in. No, that's not working. <laughs> no. No. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now get a drink. <laughs> no. no? Yeah, you just. It's good yeah, it's clean. Look, it's just got from, come yeah. down from the mountain. Yeah. And how to this? Yeah, press the button. There you go. <laughs> Fresh. Fresh. Good. <laughs> yeah, question for me. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm just a tourist for a tourist guy for somebody that's come from another planet i think <laughs> don't they have these in thailand cat they're no. more they're more of fossils no no, no. 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 oh yeah because you can't i guess because you can't drink the water out there right you have to buy in bottles of water because yeah. you'll get sick thailand, uh, no. all right that makes sense all right i'll, I'll let you no off one that does. one <laughs> no. yeah i think they probably have live music or plays down here. It's a nice place to come and hang out, actually. All right, let's go see where Ket is. I never thought at the age of 48 that I'd be walking around on a Saturday afternoon looking at roses, but uh, I guess this is what you do when you get older. <laughs> we don't go out partying anymore to nightclubs. Well, I have hangovers. Although I did have a couple of glasses of red wine last night, but yeah. But this is my life now, Saturday afternoon, but I think it's okay. I'm gracefully getting older and I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's just, this is quite peaceful. How big is it? Oh, it's quite big. Well, look, look at all these. So, wow. There's a lot of different roses here. How many? How many in total? Oh my God. Does it say? Oh my God. Probably, probably about 500, I think. You are here. Oh, I think someone came Yeah, they're busking. You gotta give them a tip, Kat. Mm. Mm. Mm, you know the name? I don't know, but huh? they have me colour. Yeah, I think they're all kind of dying out though for the winter. Okay, are you feeling okay? No. Are you sure? You feel a bit sick? No. Are you sure? No. You feel a bit sick? Okay, come here. I'm taking you to yellow roses over here. <laughs> Make you feel better. Yeah. Right? Thank you, darling. Hmm? Thank you. Yeah. Smell? Mm -hmm. What they smell like? Do you smell? They all smell the same? I don't know. Same. The roses all smell the same. I have different and little bit. Different fragrances, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is not strong, but have smell of rose, but mm. not strong. 
American Row Society Miniature Rose Test Garden. What does that mean? Does that mean that they they make hybrid roses or they try to grow new ones? Not quite sure. <laughs> Let's test your English again because you've been taking English classes, right? Yeah. So I know what that says. That's very English. What is it? What's that say? Shakespeare's garden. Huh? No, shark, shake. Shakespeare. Okay, a minute ago you said shark. <laughs> Sharkspear. No, it's R. Yeah. A, R. Okay. But I'm forgotten here. A is O. Shakespeare. Yeah. Shake. Shakespeare garden. Shakespeare garden. Yeah. Actually, I'm not really sure of the connection why William Shakespeare has got any connection to do with roses. Mm. If you know, do me a favor, leave a comment below because I don't have a clue about that. But because yeah, my name's you want to know, yeah, I'll let you know because William Shakespeare's from England, but this we're in America, so I don't know the connection anyway. Onwards, let's go. Yeah, I don't, hmm? I don't know, I think maybe people. People donate. I think money, or I don't know if they used to work here. I'm not sure. They they put their signature. Yeah. Year. Oh yeah. Okay. You want to know a secret? You want to know a secret? Yes. There. This. This is. This is secret. All right. All right. Don't tell anyone, shh. All right, secret. I think it's just artwork actually, Kit. Like a photo, Lisa? Like yeah, in, in photo like opportunity. A... What, have like a lot? A bell. It's thick. You know, like a bell. Yeah. yeah. Nick, this is in here, mm -hmm. they call Eden. Eden? Yeah. Eden, right? But in Thailand, Edok. Edok. <laughs> Why, this is why, 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 why? This is flower. I'm not understand why. Oh, I know I'm understand, Kaljai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm actually, Kelly never taught me this. If anyone's watching, she didn't teach me this, right? She she's explicitly has told me to tell you, to tell everyone. She never taught me this, but actually I'm learned bad Thai word on Instagram one night. I'm just flicking, scrolling through and I'm learn uh, Edok or Edok Tong. Which means, it's really weird. Edok Tong means a uh, golden flower, which is apparently a really rude thing to call somebody, which is kind of odd to me because golden is, well, beautiful. Who, who doesn't want gold, right? And flowers are beautiful, right? So to call someone a golden flower, why would that be offensive? I don't understand that. But anyway, but uh, don't go to Thailand and say, hey, Kun Edok Tong, because uh, you'll probably get punched in the face. All right. <laughs> Different type, style of flower, yeah. Yeah, I've not seen this before. Yeah. What's the name? Bougainvillea shrub, whatever that means. This guy's jamming out. I like it. Dance, cat. Dance. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What are you doing? I'm learning. Don't give him money. He's still, he's still tuning up. He's not, he's not playing yet. Don't give him money. <laughs> I've been playing since nine o'clock this morning. Huh? I've been playing since nine o'clock. Oh, all right then. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm from England originally. Okay. I didn't want to get it wrong. And I bet you're American, right? Yeah, I'm American. What are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing in America? But, you, but do you know where I'm from in America originally? Some people can figure that out. You got a bit of a southern twang to no, you. No, no, no. Midwestern. Midwestern? Michigan. Oh, okay. Well, I don't hear it, but other people do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that man was funny. He's a good he's a good laugh actually. He's from uh Michigan originally, but he was more curious about my accent, but yeah. I had to explain afterwards that I wasn't being rude. That was an old cannon and ball joke about tuning up.
You don't have to play when he's tuning up. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not tuning up, I'm playing. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, I think that's going to be it for today because we've got literally five minutes and then our parking slot is uh, expired. So we've got to get back to the car. But uh, I hope you enjoyed today's content. It wasn't too too much information or too um, crazy but um, we just wanted to kill some time today because we, we just wanted to get out of the condo but uh, I think next weekend up the street here they've got the Oregon Zoo and we're gonna go and check that out all right see you in the next one bye bye